Welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Illustrator CS5. I'm going to show you guys some tricks and some tools um, just to get you started and hopefully this will be a nice introduction to Illustrator. So let's get started. I'm going to go File, New. I have my document set at 8.5 by 11. I have the margins at zero. I'm not too concerned with that right now. Click OK. And uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the pen tool. Let's come over here. I have the pen. Now when I'm using the pen tool, we can manipulate the lines. I'm going to hold down the pen tool and I'm going to add an anchor point. And what the anchor point allows me to do, it allows me to make the line flexible. And I'll show you. I'm going to create one anchor point there, another one there. Come back to the pen tool, holding it down, and the convert anchor point tool. And then move it around. Take the handle, move it down there, or move it up here. Gives you an idea of what you can do. Now, the next thing I want to show you, let's come down here to the type tool. Now, with the type tool, we can actually use it like any other program, uh, any other Adobe program. But what I'm going to do here is first, I'm going to increase the type, the size of the type. I'm going to go type, create outlines. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Next, I'm going to create a shape. Let's create a. Just use the rectangle tool and we're going to just create a box though. Create my box. Let's get rid of this other line. Select the box. Go to Effect 3D. Extrude and Bevel. Leave it as is. Click OK. And with black, you can't really see that I have a three dimensional box, but let's go to a different color uh, blue. And we're going to go to um, Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, same thing. Now you can see I have a 3D box. I'm going to take my type, cut it, bring on a new layer. I came down here and I just clicked New Layer. And I'm going to paste down a new layer on top. And that's how layers work in uh, Illustrator, just like they do in the other Adobe programs. What's on top is on top, and what's on bottom is on bottom. I'm going to take my free transform tool, click that, come back to the type, come back on the side here. I'm going to click, Alt, Control, and I'm going to move it. And I'm skewing the type. So it looks a little bit more realistic that it's supposed to be on there. And I can even skew it some more. So I'll take the free transform again, click here on the side, Alt, Control, and move it a little bit more. Eh, let's just rotate it like that and we can make our adjustments not too bad let's take the gradient tool now let's take the shape tool first make a shape and then we're going to take the uh, the shape fill up here set the gradient there's a standard gradient in Illustrator and the other Adobe programs and right here we have the gradient tool I'm going to alt click the swatch create myself a new swatch right in there, double click it, set it to blue, click out here, and you can see I can adjust the, the gradient. Up um, over here, we're going to go to uh, window, gradient, I can change the direction of the gradient, very easy to do. Over here I can do the same thing, alt, create myself another swatch, double click on it, set a different color. Click out here. And you can see how the gradient's being affected. You can also change the angle again over here. Whatever you want to do. And that's using the gradient. Let's get out of there. Um, anything else I want to show you in here? We have the eyedropper over here. Well, as you select the colors, just like the other Adobe programs, select the yellow for yellow. Um, we have the rotate. What does rotate do? Rotate your item. Take over here. You can rotate over here. You can also have the selection tool here and just once it changes like that, you can also rotate like that. Um, what else? Scale tool. Once we have the item selected, use a scale tool. Now 
And another trick is you take the selection tool and you hold down one of the corners, shift, and you'll see what happens. It doesn't allow you to get out of your perspective. So you can stay within proportion of what it's supposed to be without skewing it. So just remember that holding shift. Another trick is that if you hold on to the item and alt shift, it'll give you a new item on the same plane as well. And that's about it. That's your first tutorial in Adobe Illustrator CS5. I'm going to create more of these and I just wanted to give you an introduction. Hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys later.